I can't believe this is where we have to start today, but this is where we have to start today. Donald Trump is now tweeting fake pictures of his own Justice Department officials behind bars for treason. Donald Trump retweeting a tweet originally posted by an account called the Trump train. Trump retweeted the image. The image is our television and YouTube audiences shows not just Rod Rosenstein behind bars, but it shows Barack Obama and Bill Clinton behind bars. Eric Holder is there. I see Hillary Clinton, uh, James Comey. The president of the United States is tweeting fake pictures of former presidents behind bars. And as far as Rod Rosenstein, Trump appointed Rosenstein. Trump has opted not to fire Rosenstein. Trump believes that his own deputy attorney general who he hired and has not fired should be put on trial for committing treason against the United States of America. This is authoritarian behavior. This is really stupid behavior. This is embarrassing behavior on a national stage, but it's also extraordinarily dangerous behavior from the leader of a supposedly Western and democratic country. These I will remind you are the types of pictures that were on the side of that van that the MAGA bomber owned who sent pipe bombs in the mail to a dozen Democrats. And now Donald Trump is retweeting almost identical images to what that guy had taped or pasted or super glued, whatever it was to the side of his van. Are you now ready to tell me that I was correct when I said that anyone who is still supporting Donald Trump is either a bad person or cognitively challenged and thus unable to understand what's going on or merely ignorant of the facts? Can we now say that? And for everybody who I know is going to write to me and say, David, this is a joke. Pat, can't you explain to David that this is what it is, is? It's a it's satire. It's just a joke. That's wrong. The president on one hand is tweeting pictures of his political enemies in jail, but he's also taking action, wanting to direct the Justice Department to prosecute his political enemies. Remember, we learned over the weekend that he was going to direct the Justice Department to prosecute James Comey and Hillary Clinton until his attorney, Don McGahn, told him you might not want to do that. You could end up getting impeached for that. So, Pat, for everybody who I know is going to write into us and comment online and say, these are jokes. Number one, are these jokes becoming of the office of the presidency of the United States? And number two, we know it's not a joke. We know Trump talks about the prosecution of his political enemies behind the scenes in a serious manner. I really wonder how Sarah Huckabee Sanders is going to explain this one away. Like, Will she say that Trump's retweets are not endorsements or that uh, the sentiments behind the art is what actually is true, like that this Russia investigation is all hysterical nonsense and that people like Robert Mueller and Hillary Clinton all have to be investigated? Yeah, it'll probably be a combination of that with with pointing out that he didn't tweet it. He retweeted it. And the fake news media is saying that he tweeted it, even though it was a retweet, which, of course, at this point is more or less uh, a distinction without a difference or a difference without a distinction or apply whatever phrase you want to it. And and actually the the Sarah Huckabee Sanders reaction is part of what I'm going to watch. But also what are Republicans going to do? What are Republicans going to say? Because every Republican elected official who doesn't act to put a stop to this is now part of the problem. Every Republican and Democrat, by the way, although Democrats don't really have the power at this point to, to do much about it. Every Republican who doesn't work to put a stop to this is part of the problem. They are part of allowing the office of the presidency to be weaponized into a threat to the democracy that we hold as an important element of the United States of America. The only hope that I have is that Trump is acting even more erratic because he sees and he infers and he knows that the walls are closing in on him, that the Mueller probe and Democrats taking over investigations when they are sworn in and take control of the House, that Michael Cohen now pleading guilty and directly contradicting Trump's claims that he was not aware of or involved in any dealings with Russia. Michael Cohen pleading guilty today and saying, I was keeping Trump personally informed about Trump Tower Moscow and that project. 
that he realizes that he had better be scared and that that's where the erratic behavior is coming from. That's the only possible upside. And the Manafort disaster uh, that that exists could be about to reveal untold criminality by Trump and Trump might just be on tilt. We're going to see soon, but this is embarrassing behavior. Trump arriving tonight in Argentina, my home country for uh, all sorts of meetings as part of the G20. Um, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for him to be the representative of the United States among leaders who we may agree with or disagree with politically, but who other than the authoritarian ones that Trump seems to like don't hold a free press in contempt. Don't debase the politics of the nation through retweets of political memes like these. It is a, a, a disgusting embarrassment that this is the guy representing us around the world. Today's program was made possible in part by Blinkist dot com slash Pacman. I love Blinkist. It's the really perfect app for anybody who likes politics and learning. And if you're watching or listening to The David Pacman Show, I'm sure you love politics and learning. And what Blinkist does is take the best and most popular nonfiction books. They condense them into 15 minute audiobooks that you can listen to in one sitting and you can learn about politics, philosophy, psychology, economics. Often we don't have the time to actually read as many books as we would like. I know that I'm at my limit for how much I can read. And this way you can absorb the most important, valuable information from books in just 15 minutes, maybe on your way to work, maybe on your way to the gym, maybe cooking vegan recipes at home, whatever is your thing. And our audience can get a seven day free trial by going to Blinkist dot com slash Pacman. If you're watching on YouTube, I've put a link in the video description. And after the free trial, if you like it, and I think you will, you can continue enjoying thousands of condensed audiobooks for just about five bucks a month. You can go to B L I N K I S T dot com slash P A K M A N to sign up.